always be nerdy. What you just heard, my nerdy friends. Oh, hold on. Welcome, my nerdy friends. And welcome to Always Be... I'm taking over Always Be Nerdy's channel. And welcome to Always Be Eddie. Yeah. Oh, wait, I forgot. Always be nerdy, always uses a microphone. Hey, where is... Oh, there it is. Yeah. See? I'm learning, I'm learning always. I'm learning from you, bro. Welcome to... Always be Eddie. Always be Eddie. Taking over Always Be Nerdy's channel. Which is me. Always be nerdy. Yeah, they're trying to play music. Copyright, copyright. Yeah, always, always, always be nerdy. 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 Um, they always play music out here. Always be nerdy. Always be nerdy. You gotta do the copyright thing. What you just heard right now was from a movie called West Side Story. Yes, indeed. Now, you already know what's about to be unboxed on Always Be Eddie's channel. I have an item right here as you can see I already learned from well actually always be nerdy learn from me because I'm OCD so he actually learned from me how to dis dis disinfect items the clock is ticking the clock is ticking like I said, always be nerdy's uh, style. I have an unboxing or a package here. Can you guess what it is? Huh? 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 Has to do with West Side Story. Somebody that's Puerto Rican in there. Yes, indeed, my nerdy friends. What I'm about to unbox here is another awesome item. That I got on a bid. Oh, can unbox it that way. <sighs> oh, this is awesome. And it comes, and it comes with a certificate of authenticity. Authenticity. Yes, my nerdy friend. A certificate of authenticity. Ah. Put that to the side. See? Certificate of, certificate of authenticity. You saw it right there, folks. My goodness. Here it is, folks. Rita Moreno autograph. That's right, my nerdy friends. I have Miss Rita Moreno's autograph. Official autograph. 
with the COA, which is Certificate of Authenticity. I can't believe I got that. Oh my God. I can't believe I got that. But you know what? I already knew I was going to get that because do, 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 do. I got a frame for it. And I also got another frame for my Betty White autograph. Well, my nerdy friends, I guess that's it. Or is it? No, no, no. You know always, okay, he does this type of stuff where he always shows you an item and then he walks away. Well, he learned that from me, Eddie. And I'm about to show you my awesome collection of autographs, which is from baseball players, to music artists, to people from actors and actresses. Well, actually I got like two of them that I couldn't get because they're in my storage. But one of them was um, that I got it at, at the, actually the second New York Comic Con that I went to. Um, and is uh, 90210 Jenny Gar. But let me start showing you the other autographs that I have. And since I'm wearing my Puerto Rican, um, you know, hat and Puerto Rican shirt, and I got my flag out here, let me show you some Puerto Ricans that I got. Daddy Yankee! Official autograph from Mr. Daddy Yankee right here. Now you're wondering, Eddie, how did you get that autograph? Well, I'll tell you, my nerdy friends, how I got it. He was promoting, uh, I think it was between him and uh, Macy's. He came out with a uh, fragrance called D.Y. And at the same time, he was promoting his CD, which is called Talento del Barrio, which was also a movie, which I also had. And uh, I'm a big Daddy Yankee fan. And of course, not to say anything, but he is Puerto Rican. So I waited online for about, give or take, maybe four hours, got a bracelet, and then the next morning went. I was, it was me and um, someone else, which if she watches my video, she knows who she is, um, and another person that came with us. And we got the, we were like the first three people there, and then the line got longer. So towards the middle of the day. Not to bore you people, but yeah. I got it, didn't get a picture with him because security was so tight and took our cell phones. But to prove it, yeah, I got D.Y. Daddy Yankee's autograph. The next Puerto Rican, <laughs> it's not just Puerto Ricans. I mean, I have other autographs you just saw. Uh, that I got Betty White, but I'll show, <laughs> excuse me, I'll show it to you, is to Eddie from Bernardo Williams, or Bernie Williams of the New York Yankees. Yeah, yeah, I was going to wear this when I was going to announce that, but I might as well show you. Yes, Bernie Williams. Yeah, not only does he play baseball, but he also plays the guitar and he plays music. Uh, Bernie Williams, what can I tell you? Fanal B. 
or as they call them, awesome, awesome, awesome baseball player, proud Puerto Rican, and proud Yankee, who will be someday in the Hall of Fame, which she's already inducted in the Yankees Monument Park, so that's considered an honor for him to be there, all right? So that's Bernie Williams. And the day that I met him was um, a mall by me, just recently opened, and um, he was doing music. So as me and my family were passing by, we hear that the street is closed, we hear music, we're like, hey, let's go check it out, let's go see. Or, or as us Puerto Ricans call it, vamos a ver igual, que está pasando ahí. You know, you know, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, we went. I was like, oh my God, it's Bernie Williams. And there was a bunch of people that were like, yeah, he plays. I said, I know he plays. But yeah, yeah, to make a long story short. Um, I thought he already, you know, they, they had an announcement where he was going to do an autograph signing. So we were like, oh, man, we missed it. Damn. Yeah. He could have gotten Bernie Williams' autograph. So the lady says, no, he hasn't done it yet. He's going to do it now. Um, he just finishing performing two more songs. We went upstairs quick. As soon as he finished that song, went upstairs, took a picture with him, which I have, and got his autograph. As you can see, two at it. Bernie Williams. The next one is probably from a group that you don't really know. Is Proyecto Uno. And it says to Eddie, keep pumping. <laughs> Proyecto Uno is a group that um, they sing. See? Proyecto Uno. It's a group that they sing um, like a lot of... Um, what do you call it? It's not reggaeton. They just sing a lot of uh, like mixtures of salsa, urban, urban music, urban music. How did I get their autograph? I'll make it short and simple because just like the next, the next three artists that I got their autographs were really short and simple. I was at a store near me, saw a line, asked who was there. They said Proyecto Uno. I got online because I knew who they were. Boom, I got the autograph. Next one. Something by four, four, four. Yep. Before these guys uh, were known, uh, they now they do Christian music, except for, I think, Angel, this guy right here. He's on his own. But... The other three, they they do Christian. They're in the Christian channel, um, just like them. I went to see that's them right there. Uh, Apuro Dolor, the purest of pain, awesome song. Um, me, my mother, and another friend of mine, we were uh, walking by a store around my area, and out of nowhere, boom. Who's doing autograph signing? Este presentado otra vez. Some by four. So we went, boom. Got an autograph. Now this one is very special to me. Because this is one that um, I was in line for a Guinness book of records and if you know who this guy is that's kenny g yes you're probably wondering why it says to eddie and velma that's my ex-wife who i got it at the time um kenny g that was at jnr music in um near where the world trade center used to be where the freedom tower is right across the street so that's the reason why this is special to me because um it wasn't during that time 
Um, I was working around that area. I used to work around uh, the Wall Street area. Um, me, Eddie, not always. Um, and one day I was, you know, I was out. I saw that, you know, I, I think I was off that day. I saw that um, they announced that there was an artist going to be there. And I said, like me, como un presentado. I show up and I'm like, who is it? And it turns out to be Kenny G. And I love this guy's music, you know. Uh, Songbird, uh, Silhouette, Forever in Love. Hey, come on, guys. You know who Kenny G is. He plays the trumpet. He plays the... The saxophone, I think he plays the flute. He plays a lot of wind instruments. So that particular day, I stood in line for a while. Okay, I'm talking about a while. Because this man, okay, Kenny G. And you can look it up in the Guinness Book of Records. He hit one note and kept that note, okay? That's like somebody going, oh, and keeping it at the exact tempo without, because they have people from the Guinness Book of Records checking it, the, the meter, and it stood right there. Like if you're, like if it's, a, 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 imagine a clock and the minute, the minute with the battery, when the battery is off and it stays at 12, okay? And it stays there for 45 minutes. No joke. Go look it up. Kenny G, okay? Um, Guinness Book of Records or Kenny G, 45 minutes. I was there. So that to me, I mean, all these autographs mean something to me because it meant something of a day that I spent while I got it. You understand? Well, except for the Betty White and uh, Rita Moreno because I got it here. But those two mean the world to me because Rita won an EGA. And I don't know if you guys know what an EGA is. A EGA is an Emmy. A Emmy, a Grammy, a Oscar, and a Tony. And not only that, but I think this lady got um, uh, another award from Obama or something recently. You got to give it to her. She has opened doors, okay, for us urban people, not only us Puerto Ricans, because, yeah, she's Puerto Rican and she's proud, okay, but she has opened the doors for us minorities, us urban people, okay, and at that time, okay, it was hard for her, okay, can you imagine her winning, uh, what was it, in, Academy Award, I think it was, while all these other um, people of different color were nominated. Okay, not to not to be racist or anything, because I'm not being racist. It's just how proud I am of this woman that has accomplished so much and struggled so hard to get to where she's at. She deserves that and more. And for that, I applaud you, Rita Moreno. Now let me continue. Like I told you about Kenny G, yeah, look him up, uh, Guinness Book of Records. Now we go into my baseball, um, what do you call it, series. Here I got this one I actually got from a friend of the family, um, Juan Marachal. He's a Dominican uh, 
pitcher from the San Francisco Giants, Juan Marichal. These, all these autographs that I got from baseball players, I didn't get them myself. They were given to me because I'm a baseball fan, except for the Bernie Williams one. This is another one, Andrew Dawson. Okay, from the Expos, awesome baseball player, outfeeder. He no longer plays, but I got his autograph. And this guy, who I think if I'm not mistaken, if you look him up, um, he, let me, let me look him up online, because I think he no longer plays Dave Javecki. Dave. Uh, uh, Dave Javecki. Yeah, he's 64 years old. Um, what happened? Oh, yeah, 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 I remember. Dave Javecki had tragedy strike over again after a cancerous tumor had been found in his pitching arm. He underwent successful surgery to remove it. Yeah, I remember about that. Yep, Dave, Dave Javecki. Awesome player. Oh, está bien, ma. Cuando termine aquí, yo, yo, yo te, que estoy haciendo un video, eh. Me Está bien. Okay, gracias. So, yeah, Dave Javecki. Um, awesome player from, also from the Giants. My cousin was the one that gave me, that gave me these. And here's another one of Andrew Dawson again. See? As you could tell that this is official because both autographs of Andrew Dawson are the same. Um, and this one, this is not a real autograph, but I just figured, hey, someday if I could get Reggie Jackson's autograph, that's how it'll look. Now this one I got it myself because I, I actually, no. Actually, my cousin gave me this one, I think. Yeah, my cousin. My cousin Mel. This is... Let me see if you know... If you guys know who that is. Don't know? Oh, sorry. From the X-Men. Jim Lee. You know who I want to get? I want to get... um Stanley. That's who I want. Stanley's autograph. Yep. Autograph card, it says it right there. Jim Lee autograph card. Now let me show you before I forget and I stop putting them in my uh I can't believe I got that. The Betty White. I'm I'm like flipping. Flipping, flipping, flipping that I got Betty White's autograph. And Rita Moreno's too. Wow, can't believe I got those too. Well, let me show you again. I gotta take it out of the plastic. Betty White's autograph. Oh, and I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you. See? Betty White, right there. Betty White's autograph. Certificate, Betty White. Yeah. Gotta take this out too here. I forgot to show you. I got my boy right here, Mark Anthony. I got an autograph too. And another autograph thing that I have there that I showed you before. That's um the family guy. Uh, what do you call it? The Family Guy, uh, well, the TV show, Family Guy, uh, I'm bugging out, is that um, if you were to see how I have this hooked up, but let me look for my boy Mark Anthony, I'll be back.
keep I keep all his CDs. <laughs> Excuse me. I keep all his CDs in here. That's that's the reason why I'm wearing a mask. This this is what gets me mad because his autograph you can't barely see it because he's got a black suit on and he autographed it right on the black suit. That's better. See? See the writing there? See the... Right there. Mark Anthony. Yep. I wish you would have made it a little darker. But, <laughs> but it's mine. Nobody else is going to have it. So it's not like I'm going to sell it. It's not like I'm going to sell any of these autographs because I'm not. Um, I should leave it out because I'm gonna once I get a cover for it and I also have someone else and I'll show you and I also have um, you'll see what I have The Rangers, if you're a Ranger fan, which, <laughs> excuse me, sorry, if you're a Ranger fan, then uh, yeah, you know who these guys are. i been to two Ranger games. I'm a New York fan, and I mean, I'm going to root for the Rangers if they go in the, what do you call it, in the... Um, what is it? I don't even know. <laughs> but yeah, that was from 2015. I got this, right? And here is Yaya Han. Hey, it might fit here. Yeah. Ya mismo va a terminar, ¿no? Ah, sí, sí, sí. Espera, espera, que... Gracias. Uh. Well, my nerdy friends, I'm going to let you go because I'm going to go eat. I want to thank always for letting me display uh, my autographs in his channel. Wink, wink. Um, and let me bring them back, man. Always. Always. Where are you, my friend? Where are you? Come over here, always. Hello, my nerdy friends. And welcome to Always Be Nerdy. Did you see? I can't. I just changed my glasses. I can't. I can't. Yeah, I can't fit you guys. The video is almost 30 minutes long. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. During during this whole craziness, you know, I try my best to try to bring out some content so you guys can enjoy it. Um. Well, that was almost all my autographs because... There's a special autograph that I cannot show on here. So, peace out. 
Always be nerdy. Always be Eddie. Peace out. And then, excuse, excuse me, it's my allergies. Much love to you. And let's all be safe out there, right? Peace out.